Hi you all doing guys, Brandon here, welcome to Van Clan. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And if you enjoy this video, please do subscribe as we have a lot more tours coming up in the near future. So a couple of days ago, we actually attended the motorhome and caravan show here in the UK in Birmingham. And we were impressed with one of the crafter conversions by a company called Vanworks. And it was seriously impressive and we've seen nothing like this in Europe as of yet. Some of you Americans uh, have some rigs like this, like the Sprinter and stuff, but the VW Crafter is a very European kind of competitor to the Sprinter, uh, so this might be interest of you. Uh, so let's take a look. We went to the booth and we did a little tour for you. So let's take a look around the 4Motion VW Crafter conversion by Vanworks. Hi, I'm Dave from Vanworks and we're here with our brand new Max Tracks off-grid camper. So we're starting with the 4Motion Volkswagen Crafter. Every vehicle's 4Motion with diff lock, LED lights, heated seats, swivel seats and a host of other driver aids. The vehicles are so technical now and such nice vehicles to drive. So going on the 4Motion off-grid idea, we've imported all of the sequel parts. So the vehicle's been lifted it has all the underbody protection, has the snorkel. We also have the worn winch, which is on a remote. It'll pull 10,000 pounds. We've got laser lights in the grill and up on the roof rack. British made lights, they're amazing. We're an importer for Delta 4x4, so we use their wheels. They're the best on the market with the beadlock, um, BF Goodrich tires. Sequel snorkel. Got the rock sliders on here as well. We, I went out to the States to look at different accessories for this, this size vehicle and there's not much available in Europe. So we've made our own custom rack. So we've got solar on the roof. It's custom uh, designed to allow for the max, event, uh, max air vents on the roof. We've made our own carbon fiber pod so people can sleep sideways so you can get up to six foot three, maybe a touch more comfortably in the vehicle. We've also made our own ladder. Vehicle's got front and rear parking sensors and a reverse camera. Excuse the sockets under the, under the rear bumper there just for the show. You've got 240 volt tucked away as well under the rear bumper. BF Goodrich and the Delta wheel hung on the rear. We've changed all the hinges on the back doors so the doors don't open too far and, and damage things like the pod. They're all Volkswagen parts. Got the electric awning there as well. We're using the Dometic windows. They open out so you can still open them when it's raining. We've got integrated blinds and fly, and fly screens. So swivel seats in the front. We've re-trimmed this vehicle. We do all our re-trimming in-house. Uh, it's the genuine Westphalia cloth from the 1970s buses with a Napa leather and color-coded stitch. All of the furniture is made out of custom birch ply that we've had pressed for the vehicle. Got a rib rock and roll bed. So it's a crash tested rock and roll bed, creating a small double. It's 96 centimeters wide. The way it slides, we could we are in the process of making another cushion to make it slightly wider. Got a Dometic fridge and freezer. The idea is that you can get into the fridge whether you're in or out the vehicle. All soft closed drawers, chopping board. This is a bit of recycled maple, cutlery drawer. We're running a Clayton Leisure battery, so that gives enough power to run the induction hob. And we've got solar on the roof as well. You can get properly off grid. Again, you know, keeping all the wood grain uh, all running through. Got the flush mounted sink or under mounted sink. Nice powder black tap as well. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the make, but uh, yeah, it's a decent tap. A 
good amount of storage for your kitchen utensils and food. They've got the pods down the side as well. So they really are a good size. Just as much storage as we can get hidden as possible. The idea is you can get a, a, du uh, a duffel bag in the back or a hold all, just stash it away. This all folds down to a bed and when you're in bed, you've got your uh, light over the bed with USB charging points. You've got them in the living area as well. We are an Audison dealer, so we've worked with Audison to create uh, a premium sound system. So we've got a whole cab upgrade, sound deadening. We've got a subwoofer, an eight inch sub underneath this seat, the rock and roll bed. We've got 200, uh, sorry, 200 mil speakers in the ceiling. We've only just built this one, but we've got two more speakers going in the back doors. So when you're working outside on your bike or if you're outside the back doors, you've got sound outside as well. When I was out in the uh, caravan salon show out in Germany, um, I met with a company called Lamona who custom made us a mattress. The mattress is unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, been, it's custom shapes. So it fits the vehicle perfectly. All, all the contours of the doors, the, the rear corners. Um, it is a very premium mattress. But the idea is, you know, if someone's in this for a long time, I want people to sleep better in this than they do at home. We didn't put a bulkhead in this vehicle at the back, so if you're somewhere beautiful, you can open the back doors, you've got the view. The back of the bed does also tip up, so if it's raining and you're loading your bikes, you've still got some protection there, so your kit doesn't get all wet. We've got the Wabasto diesel heater. Clayton overview monitor on the front of the display unit. Um, tucked away in the furniture you can literally get some really accurate data down to how many minutes you've got left of charge hertz audio as well so you don't need to turn on your head unit for the vehicle so this is all coming off the leisure battery this is off a boat and this is the first time this has actually been put into a camper thermostat we're going to go for the nest next so you get all the apps so you can control your temperatures you've got fan speeds as well um, side pods you can just stash stuff when you're camping if you see the two screws at the end, sorry, one of the uh, cap covers has fallen off. I need to put that back on. Do you want to go down there? You could, you've got a port, uh, port loo on the left. Do you want to open that door? Yeah, down there, the bottom one. Yeah, so you've got a port loo tucked away there if you want a port loo on board. You've got, we used. Uh, Ma the ma an, an off cut of the maple ply for a step so you know you've got a proper step up to the bed so you don't have to worry about stashing a ladder away it's a, quite a good height so you know most people can just get up on the bed we also put up a bit of a um, bit of a bulkhead on the front of the bed just to you know kind of give some separation but also kind of keep your pillows on the in place and it just kind of creates it a little bit bit of a cozy area when you're sleeping if you'd like to open the timbre door as well that opens the g garage So whether you've got a dog on board, the idea is that, well, I've got a dog, so, you know, whether you want to kind of get into the garage or, you know, put the dog bed in the garage and just have the dog, you know, camping with you, but just out of your way. Okay, so decent garage, which is really important. So you can get two bikes top to tail, so, you know, literally opposite ends. This is just in for the show, but obviously this would be mounted opposite end, just so you can go top to tail with the bikes. The idea is, you know, two bikes, front wheels out, really quick, in and out. But if you want more than that, you could go four up in the van, break your bikes down, use bike bags. You've got all your, uh, some charging points here as well. So if you've got lights or computers on the bike, um, you know, really convenient charging points. Clayton are also in talks with us. They want us to um, bring an e-bike um, and, and actually have the e-bike charging off the vehicle, off the Clayton leisure battery, because it's that powerful got water in here hot shower the pressure on the shower is amazing 
water tank in the back. And again, you've got lots of space there and we're not using where the spare wheel would go at the moment at all. So we've got additional space if you want larger tanks, if you really want to have um, yeah, hundreds of litres on board. We've tried to line it so it's Alcantara around your living area. But in the back, this is all aluminium that we've had cut and all powder coated as well. So nice and strong and very robust. Just trying to get a good mix of comfort, but also very practical. The whole garage is all siliconed on the edges, just so if you do get it wet, it's not, it's not a problem.